Good Thursday morning, everybody. Beautiful Thursday morning here in Central Florida. Starting the day off at 73 degrees. It's going to be another great day. What motivates you to get up every morning? What drives you to come to work? I'm an early person myself. My wife is more of a night owl. So I've been getting up before four o'clock in the morning for so long I don't even remember. And uh, I am driven to get up and to press on. And when you think about the consequences of not doing that, it makes it easier. Show up for work every day, do the best you can for what, right? Put food on the table, have a place to live for your family so you can do good things. But what are the consequences if you don't? I think that's harder on some people now than it was when I was growing up. Consequences for not getting up and doing what you got to do could be poverty, homelessness, shunning from people. Nowadays, not so much, right? There's a lot of people that don't motivate themselves to get up and get going and do the right thing. Stay out of that rut. It's easy. That laziness is easy to get into. But it should hurt physically inside when you don't try every day. And some people don't have that. I've got an uh, issue even before the military, but really motivated from the military, I can't handle being late. I have major issues being late. If I'm not 15 minutes early, I'm late. You know, and I grew up with the the training of, you know, early's on time, on time is late, and late is unacceptable. And there's a lot to that. I don't mind if I have to wait on other people a little bit, but I don't want anyone to have to wait on me. And I insist on people I work with to be on time. And uh, some people come to my training, they know you ain't there on time. You ain't going to go to that training. You have to come to another one, reschedule. A little bit of self-discipline gets you a long way. <laughs>